Hello, empty body. This is Shadefire, and this is episode 12 of Let's Play You Are Empty. <laughs> According to that note we found, we are just about at the cinema, and I assume that's where we're going to go in this episode. So we can watch this secret film reel. I'm sure it will explain everything about what's happening here. <laughs> Another street that's just fucking caved in for no reason. This does look like a cinema. Ask the projectionist for the basement keys. Pretty much anytime it says ask anyone for anything in this, you can replace it with murder. <laughs> murder the uh, projectionist for the basement keys. Because there's eh, not a whole lot of sane people around. I mean, who knows, maybe there's a ticket boy NPC. Can't you see we're closed? I mean, this is pretty nice for a theater if quite a bit run down, but uh, it was probably nice originally. Interrupting something. Here's the actual theater. Also seen better days. So we do need to get up there because that's where the projection booth is, and in addition to getting the basement keys, we're also going to need to put the reel, the reel in. So we're going to need to get up there, and oh, there's stairs back here. I'm not sure why sometimes they just rush you with their fucking gun. It's like they're members of the EDF or something, charging with fixed bayonets. Anyone else up here? I thought we heard a gas mask guy, and when we walked in, a Riveter guy exploded instead, but I was gonna explain where the gas mask guy was, unless they just used the same audio for both. <laughs> How's that jumping leap working out for you guys? Look out for my leap! Now that is a 50s ass projector. 
no HDMI ports on this thing. Nope. Oh, there's the key for the basement. You are coming late again. Don't forget to replace the lamp before the performance. Fetch it from the storehouse in the basement. The key to the basement is on the table. Kolia. This whole neighbor of Fadim always late for work. Alright, so we're gonna have to go back down to the basement and then back up here again. Because backtracking is fun. I mean, it's not really a lot of backtracking. Okay, already back at the entrance. Wonder if there's gonna be any rats in the basement. I mean, it would make sense for there to be, but, again, enemy placement in this game doesn't make sense, so... Oh, of course, it's a hillbilly with a shotgun. Okay, there's a light bulb. Anything back here? More shotgun ammo? Oh, there was actually rats. Um. <laughs> I think we both had equal amounts of trouble hitting each other in that fight. Already full on shotgun. Oh, that's convenient. An elevator. And now we don't have to backtrack. I'm not sure why all these elevators have Fulbright going on. <laughs> and why everything we get in that move just vibrates. Alright. Guess we'll see you later. Pop that sucker in there. And it's movie time. Comrades, we proudly announce that the tenacious work of Soviet scientists has finally bore fruit. The aim of modeling an artificial human essence has finally been attained. With the help of this facility, we will be able to make directional, psychological, and physiological corrections. The technology we have created will dramatically change the social outlook of this country. A new Soviet human being will open wide the doors to an age of true revolution, an era which will witness the triumph of communist civilization. For reasons of secrecy, it was decided to establish the object outside the city limits. The larger part of the object is underground, which provides additional protection and secrecy. A secret railway span was built in order to ensure quick communication between the object and the city. The train is leaving from the city terminal's shed. The wave retransmitter is the main element of the object. Unfortunately, we did not manage to achieve the stability the psychodynamic field required. As amplitude increases in a mission, capacity would drive the reaction to the critical phase, and therefore an emergency system for field structure suppression was developed in order to redistribute the physio-modeling steam. The emergency system was to be activated should control over the retransmitter be lost. Alright, so yeah, basically... No. They made some sort of brainwave emitter that makes everyone stronger and smarter or better. And instead, it just made everyone horrible and crazy. And I guess we gotta take a train there from the city and shot on the emergency reaction thing. Now, I'm just gonna take a guess here that that child we keep seeing in the animated things is gonna be some sort of catalyst or whatever for the actual brainwave. Also, <laughs> the voice acting in that, it sounds like they got an American teenager to do the first voice, and what sounds kind of like an Irish person trying to do a Russian accent for the second voice. A little weird. And yeah, I guess we're gonna go to the train yard next. <laughs>